Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Rebuilding Stockport. I really do hope you're enjoying this series as much as I am right now. Jumping straight into things with today's video, because obviously we've only played the one game off camera, the FA Cup tie against Chesham, um, and we've got two huge games today uh, to play. And you'll find out there's been a slight change to one of them, but more on that in a minute. Firstly, I just wanted to show you the dynamics. Dressing room atmosphere is excellent. The managerial support is excellent, obviously, because of the reputation as well. But also, the match cohesion is improving. And um, judging by the way we played against Darlington, it is no surprise that we're starting to really find some stuff in these games now. Um, before, we were struggling a little bit. Now we're scoring goals from open play, scoring goals from corners just looking like a really well-oiled unit and that's why i think it's important that getting players that fit the exact style you want to play uh really is important i think mbo has been a revelation for us having a six foot seven striker it is proper like sweaty i suppose but it helps you know if you have a style you want to play and it fits that style do it do what you need to do to win football matches that's what we're here to do after all ashley palmer's magic he wears a magic hat if you threw a brick at him he'll head the fucker back Ah, oh, I love football chants. These are the kind of things we need. And Ashley Palmer is exactly that type of player. And I think that kind of applies to Umbo as well. Singing at Grimsby fans, you only sing when you're fishing. I don't know why that one tickled me so damn much. It just did. I love the really got slightly cleverer ones like that, basically. The ones that aren't just like pure abuse. They're actually just really quite clever. So those are great. And of course, if you come up with any for the players in our squads, particularly down, down the line when we get regents, do drop them in the comments. I'll be happy to read those out because I can't get enough of these. So I won manager of the month since we won all four of our league games in that month i was finally voted manager of the month obviously the hereford manager won it the first month because they won like seven of their games that month and i think there was actually seven games we also have a new kit sponsor worth 20 grand a year over two years i think it's not a main kit sponsor it's a local company but that's still an extra 40 grand that we've been given uh which is very very nice also for getting to the round of games where we play against chesham we got nine grand for that which was not too bad it's just extra money you know at this level every little helps so the one game that we did play off camera was against chesham in the cup and i did play a rotated side slightly well no only really brought in bruno bridges who had an absolutely stonking game. He created a chance, he got four key passes and an assist on the night uh, for Mbo's second goal, I believe it was. Mbo was phenomenal as well. Two goals for him, assists for days. The, all of the midfielders scored goals, which was really, really nice. Just an all-round fantastic performance. 7-0 in the cup is truly fantastic. You know, I know they're a lower league side, but I believe they're only one league lower than us. So for us to smash seven past them in quite such a dominating style is great. And also, remember, our last goal in this game was scored in the 60th minute. That was when I just made a load of substitutions. Um, so we probably could have got more if I'd left the players on, but there's really no need. But the change that does make is that the second game in today's episode is actually going to be the Altrincham game because the Blythe one got moved. I did think about just doing that one off camera in between, but I actually thought doing Altrincham is the FA Cup fourth qualifying round. If we win that, we go into the first round. So I think it's a big one and it's on television. In front of the cameras, we're getting 1,200 quid for that, which is nice pocket change, I suppose. So two enormous games today. Home against Hereford in the league, which could see us extend our lead at the top. And at home against Altering, which could see us reach the FA Cup first round, which is our achievement that we need. And hopefully we can get ourselves a good draw to earn some money. So I'm really looking forward to today's games. We're going to jump straight into the games though. No faffing about today. Also, in case anyone was wondering, at the end of the season, there will be the analysis videos coming back. For those of you that are new to the series, I haven't watched for a while at the end of each season i do like an hour-long video which is mainly me going through the stats for the players really looking deep diving into the individual stats of each player in the positions and comparing and looking at where we need to improve most importantly though don't feel like you need to watch that video in order to actually continue with the series it's mainly for the people that are really interested in that kind of stuff you could totally skip that one and not have a problem with the story we don't do anything in terms of progression we just sort of discuss the team and tactics and stuff like that really i like to do a bit of both so we are massive favorites for this game now hereford's run lately they have picked up a win in their last game but they'd lost three in a row i think before that although weirdly this seems to suggest otherwise also that point we got against geisley where we let a late goal in is starting to look worse and worse as we speak at the moment spennymore can't wait to play them and kidderminster we lost to them that's the points dropped this year were against Kidderminster and Geisley sort it out lads so changes made obviously Bruno Bridges cannot start this game but Kebby can come in because he'll be fully rested for it which is nice and Bo's nearly up to speed now he's been playing phenomenally so we're gonna go with them Bo Stevenson Kirby DeMeo Osborne oh DeMeo he got his fifth goal for the club so it is happy Cinco DeMeo everybody um that joke's been done to death now in the past two episodes but that's finally out the way we'll do it again when he gets 50 which is a bit unlikely but five already this year pretty damn good Duxbury Palmer Keen Kebby and Hinchcliffe on the bench, Ormerson, Mantak, Warburton, Bell, and Cowan. That makes sense to me. So they play a 4-4-2, and we've been reasonably good against 4-4-2s, and they do have a deep line playmaker. They seem to play it short out from the back, as this, uh, well, penis would seem to indicate. Those are some molten balls right there. Okay, we're going to try and really G the team up and get them fully into this. I want to see it almost all be green by the time we get into the game. Oh, one more. Go on. Go on, Mbo. I know you don't know me that well. Yes! So we're going to mark up Richards, because he is their danger man in terms of creating chances for him. 
Uh, they seem to play out from the back, so hopefully prevent short goalkeeper distribution should help with that. Right, let's do this. A win here would see us more. We're currently four points clear, so we could go seven points above them with a win. Now, obviously, that doesn't mean we'll be seven points clear at the top of the league, because uh, there are obviously other games going on, but a win against the main rival right now would be very good for my heart. Great tackle from Kebby. Right, he's got Kirby through. Stevenson needs to make a run, really. Don't know if he's going to be able to find him. Kirby bringing it down the wing. He's got to look for Kebby. Sorry, got to look for the back post. He does. Umbo! Oh, over the bar. Well, one again. Kirby, he's got it this time. Umbo, one touch. Oh, good save from Duba. That's good. We're looking a bit better now. Chance from a set piece. You know how good we are. Duxbury's ball. Umbo, knocks it down. DeMayo! Oh, what a chance. That should have been a goal. Duxbury, Stevenson, it's in the back of the net. Darren Stevenson on the rebound ball, and it's 1-0 over Hereford United. This would be a just a simply enormous result for us. We should have scored here, really. DeMayo getting into a great spot. Great save from Duba, but Keane does brilliantly to pull this back from Bo. Slips it across for Darren Stevenson. A look at that through all the bodies. Didn't even deflect through like nine players in the box there. Stevenson's ninth of the season, and Bo with another assist. And they've combined for a lot of goals. Maybe an early cross occasionally. Turnbull. Oh, look at Dux. He's got loads of room out on the left here. Can he go to the byline, maybe? Oh, he does. Brilliant. Kirby. Over the bar. Back post, surely. Oh, and Bo can knock it down again. He does. Turnbull puts it around the post. God, we're so good from corners. Okay, so half time, A very, very good performance. Darren Stevenson's goal. We look threatening. I want a little bit more possession in the second half. So we're going to turn Get Stuck in on just to try and win a little bit more of the ball and just throw them off their game a little bit. It would only take one ball over the top for them to actually get that to work. And I can't remember the last time someone actually made that work against us, but it only takes one chance. Things at the moment just could not be going better for me right now. So we've had to get stuck in to try and get in amongst them a little bit in the second half and throw them off kilter. Try and find that second goal because it really does just take one goal like that. If that's a little bit better, they're, they're probably level. Kebby. DeMayo giving acres of space in the midfield. Oh, that's a lovely little dummy from Stevenson, whether he meant to or not. Osborne. Look at the ball for Ducks. He's kept it in. Can he find a cross? Goes back to the edge of the box for Osborne. Will he shoot? Finds DeMayo. Kebby doesn't have that switching play to opposite flank trait, which would be quite nice right now to try and find Ducks. Romanski. Win it. Oh, he's not won it. Oh, it's 1-1. And that's what I mean. Sometimes it just takes one opportunity like that. We should be doing better than this. We've had opportunities in this game. It's now 1-0. Oh, that's frustrating. Um, Thing is, it's not even really been caused by the high line. We had a player in a good position to win this. He just isn't capable of winning it there, unfortunately. Kebby does a poor job and no one tracks the run in the middle. And that's just bad defending overall, unfortunately. 1-1 one, one here. Damn it. Okay, changes are probably needed right about now. Kirby, we're going to get Warburton on for Kirby on that right-hand side because we've got a booking there. And also Mantak on for Kebby to give us a bit more going forward. We'll leave the other same changes for now. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a one-all draw here. Been a bit of a poor second half. I think getting stuck in didn't really do a lot for us in the second half. A one-all draw, it's a bit of a shame. I think overall we were probably the better side, but they created some good chances themselves. That's what you expect from a top-of-the-table clash. We're not going to run away with this league. They are clearly a good side, but... Oh, God, on another day, this could have really been a good win for us. But there you go. Sometimes you get results like this. We need to move on and keep going. It's still not another loss. There's only one defeat in, like, 12 games so far this season. Still a good result. Right, so we're going to jump straight forward into the Altrincham game because that one, in a weird way, is kind of more important, really, because I still think we'll do well enough to win this league, but that one could get us a lot of money and prestige. Right then, we're back. It's us against Altrincham for a place in the FA Cup first round. We're obviously the favourites as we're the home side, but they're in the same league as us, and I God, I wish we'd got that win over Hereford. Sometimes you're just going to get results like that where you can't quite take your chances themselves and you just let a little bit of defensive lapse. But I don't think that was because of the high line. I think that's just... Sometimes you make defensive mistakes and Hereford made us pay. Still top of the league, though. And that's the main thing. Today, it's all about the FA Cup. This one, I think, is actually more important in a way. If we get through here, massive money. Well, some money. Is Phil Parkinson manning altering them now? So due to the fact that, well, we've had a game an hour in between. Actually, how long is it until our next game? against Blythe. It's on Tuesday, so... Uh, now we're still going to go all out here. We really do need to get the win. Building up the links is nice. Warburton has complained about not playing because he is a first-team player, unfortunately, but he has actually accepted that he's not going to for now, which is really, really nice. Bit of a risk, but it paid off. So we're going to go with the same lineup as always, really. Mbo, Stevenson, Kirby, the Mayo, Osborne, Turnbull, Duxbury, Palmer, Keane, Kebby, and Hinchcliffe on the bench. Ormerson, Bruno Bridges, of course. Warburton, Bell, Mantak, Waldron, another one of our youngsters. That's nice to see that my assistant thinks he's good enough for the bench. Paul Waldron, not sure where he'd play. Um... I suppose what we should really be doing with him is training him to play a bit deeper as like of a deep line playmaker, maybe just so that he could maybe have a role in the team later on. Maybe he'll do that now. Anyway, that's what we're going to go with. What sort of system do they kind of play? Okay, so, so similar to what Chesham did and what Darlington did, which did not serve them too well against us. So they've got a playmaker too, which is one to look out for. They're not a very long ball team too, which means we should, if we could press them enough, try to disrupt them. 
players' confidence is looking good. The morale, it took quite a hit just from the Hereford game. It's amazing how the tiny, even though we didn't lose, morale can really go down very quickly on this game. It takes a little while to come back up again. Getting a win against Ultracom today would help with the morale an awful lot, and it would help with our bank balance even more. Let's do this. A win here would be fantastic. It's also, we've got a bit lucky given that all the games we played in the FA Cup have been at home, but I'll take it. They have an injury already, so it's an early sub for Altrincham. Okay, so we've got a lot of the possession so far, so it makes sense for us to do that. Try to be a bit more aggressive. Duxbury's ball and bow. Can he turn? Osborne, can he turn? Is that a penalty? Really? Okay. Just going to see who should really take this. Um, I kind of want him bow to take it, because he's as good as these guys. And also, I want him to get off to a good start with some confidence. Oh, it's a red card for Wes Atkinson. Okay, this is a good chance for us now. We take the lead here. We're playing against 10 men, and our striker will hopefully have missed a penalty. Jesus Christ. Come on, Noel. You're better than that, buddy. Okay, it doesn't matter. We're playing against 10 men for the rest of this game now. We should be in the ascendancy. Soslo will really struggle to break down 10 men, but we did really well against FC United on the opening day. So here we go. Kirby running down the wing. Can he find a cross? He does. Stevenson at the back post. Turnbull brings it down. Oh, Kirby. He's through. Oh, what a block. They don't seem to understand that they could kind of do with something on this side. So I might get uh, Kebby further forward, like much further forward. Um, just an idea until they change systems. Kirby's ball in. Where's Mbo when you need him? Ball back across. It's in the back of the net. It's Ashley Palmer. Throw a brick at his head. He'll nod it back. And he's just nodded one in his first of the season, would you believe? Jordan Keane's got three already. I guess it would be a set piece, wouldn't it? Lovely ball in. And what about this from Elliot Osborne to knock that back across? Ashley Palmer, keeper, don't know what he's doing. 1-0 Stockport, and we have put one foot now in the next round, hopefully. I'm also going to focus the play down this right-hand side because, you know, come on. This really should be 2-0 because Mbo should have scored the penalty. He didn't, but it doesn't matter. Kirby's into the box now. What's he thinking? Oh, tipped over by Thompson. Well, um, pretty good first half for us, really. We lead the game. We should be 2-0 up, really. We've got to find a way to get a couple more goals in the second half just to put this game to bed. And Bo's had a bit of a mare, frankly. I'm going to turn Kirby into an inside forward on this side. Because they'll tuck in a bit more. And I'll have him sit narrower as well. Um, okay, that's a bit annoying. I'll have him sit narrower to allow even more space for Kevy to overlap. I just really want to exploit this wing because they've got n I've only got one player there. We're going to have doubles on him every single time. Stevenson on the left. Look at the space out on that right. Osborne's through. Saved by Thompson. Push around the post. Stevenson, look at the space on the right-hand side. If he could just find the pass. Duxbury. It's men over. Ball across. Mbo. Saved by Thompson again. DeMeo. What I might actually do is, is not just allow that because we want to make sure that we vary things a little bit. Don't get too predictable. Oh, they've changed their system. Interesting. So now they're pushing down the other side. So with that in mind, we're going to push Duxbury up on this side instead. Unless they're just going to keep flipping that, depending... Oh my god! No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. Don't know what happened there. Got men over. Stevenson can fancy it. Kirby's through! And it's saved! On the rebound? No! Right, we're going to make changes. And Bo, I'm sorry, mate. You've just not been good enough on tonight. He's had a really bad game. Bruno Bridges can come on on the right, because I want to keep him as much football as possible. Oh, should we try it? Should we try Paul Waldron in for Conor DeMeo in the middle? I'm just going to turn it from attacking to positive, just to see the rest of this game out if we can do. Um, it's not been our finest performance by any stretch of the imagination, but the most important thing, if we can, is that we just get through to the next round of the cup. That's all that matters now. Bell into the channel for Stevenson. Got men flying into the box. Stevenson's ball. Kirby's header saved on the rebound, cleared again. Oh, they've reverted to a different system now entirely, but we've only got seconds left in this game now, so... Just get that 1-0 win. It's not emphatic, but we still played all right. On another day, we have we do score a couple of goals in this match. There we go. Stop put one. Ultragum nil. It was not an inspiring win, but it gets us through to the next round, and the morale stays good. And we're in the next round of the FA Cup. Yes! Oh, Bell's injured. That's annoying. Uh, we do get 25 grand for that, which is superb. That really does help our finances out quite a lot. Uh, this month alone, we've made £150,000, which is superb. I assume we got a high gate receipt for that. Just going to add the attendance in here. Uh, not really higher than usual, 3,500. But three home games in a row at the start of the month, I guess, have made us a fair amount of money because last month we had a lot of away games. FA Cup first round draw today. So Sunderland, Charlton, uh, presumably Portsmouth too, are in there along with Weymouth and Slough Town. I either want a big side at home or away. Obviously, what else is it going to be? Neutral venue? Come on. Or a really small side potentially that we could knock out. I'm not going to do the whole draw because it would take forever. Who are we going to get? Come on. Maidstone United. 
of the league above. This is what I was afraid of. Because I feel like we could potentially lose to them, particularly away from home, and get nothing from it. But if we were to get through to the second round of the FA Cup, the board would be happy. And we'd have a much better chance at playing a really good side. And maybe sneaking our way into like the third round and getting ourselves a massive draw, like a Man United or something. Um, thinking a bit too far ahead there. Bit annoyed, but eh. But what can you do? When is that? Oh, it's not for a while yet. Uh, actually... Tell you what, I think Maidstone in the FA Cup might not be a good live might be a good live com for the next episode because it's a big game. Um, why the hell not? There's a decent number of games off camera in between that one. Just a single live com in the next episode against Maidstone United because then that leaves us with potential options after that of. Mm. Not really sure. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Do not worry about that. So, next episode, we're going to be doing Maidstone United and the FA Cup first round. If we can get through, it would mean, hopefully, something big for us. So, if you have enjoyed this episode, I know we didn't win the, the game in the league, but, hey, you're going to drop points sometimes. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for... Actually, no. Drop a like on the video. Do that. D just headbutt it. Be brilliant. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and I'll join you guys in the next episode for an FA Cup first round... Um, hopefully win gonna be tough though against Mason United but in the form we're in you never know I'll see you guys soon thank you so much for watching bye bye